This video will show you how to import the parts you have created into an assembly for your log cabin. Start by creating an assembly document. Click on Browse to open and insert a new part. Find the part and then click on Open. By clicking anywhere in the graphics window, you will place it into the assembly. The first part you import is fixed and it has a little F in brackets before the name. As you can see, this is not free to move. To change this, right click on the name and then choose Float from the drop down menu. Now it is free to move. Click on Insert Components and then click on Browse. This will allow you to find parts and import them into your assembly. You can also right click on a part and move the mouse to rotate the part in the assembly. Left clicking will allow you to move the part around inside the assembly. Alternatively, you can add parts by going into the design library. Click this icon to add a new library. Locate the folder where the log cabin parts are stored. Then when you expand this, it should contain all the parts you have created. You can click and drag them into the assembly to import them. Notice how you can import several at a time. Click on X to stop importing these parts. All the parts you need for your log cabins are available as a download. However, you must extract the zip file before you can add them to the library. To delete a part from the assembly, simply right click on it and choose delete. Then click yes. Alternatively, you can click on a part and press delete on your keyboard. Now let's add a mate to one of these parts. Mates are used to reduce the degrees of freedom of a part in an assembly. Expand one of the parts and click on the front plane. Then click on Mate, expand this tree and click on the front plane of the assembly. Then click OK or click OK over here. The part has moved as you can see. Do the same thing with the top plane of the part and the top plane of the assembly. Click OK again to exit out of inserting mates. As you can see, this part is free to slide as shown. Right click on the right plane of the part and pick Mate. Then choose the right plane of the assembly and click OK to insert this mate. As you can see, this part is now fixed inside the assembly. This other part is still free to move, so you must add mates to this other part as well. As you can see, the second part has a small minus in brackets next to its name. This means it is free to move inside the assembly. Click on mate, and then minimize the tree as shown. Click on this face, and this face. SolidWorks will automatically choose a mate for them. Click on OK to accept this mate. Do the same thing with these other two faces. Then click OK. Click on this top face and then rotate the model around. Click on this bottom face and this log will move into place. Click OK to accept these mates and then hit OK again to stop inserting mates.
Both pods are now fixed. As you can see, they don't have a minus sign next to their name. The second log is mated with respect to the first log. As you can see, neither of these logs can move. If you right click on the first log and then choose change transparency, you can make the part semi-transparent. The second part remains fixed. Right click and choose change transparency again. Right click on the part, now choose hide component and this will hide the component. The second log still remains fixed. To show the component, right click on it and click Show Component. Now, if you right-click on the first log and choose Suppress, the second part will be free to move. As you can see, there are now minus signs next to their names. By unsuppressing it, both parts will now become fixed again. Sometimes parts will interfere with each other. To measure this, click on the Evaluate tab and then choose Interference Detection. Click Calculate and it will highlight an area in red that shows where they interfere. You can pick from the different interferences in this list. Click OK to exit out of interference detection. If you move the part away and click on interference detection again and calculate again, it will show you that there are no interferences in this assembly. You now know everything you need to start assembling your log cabin.